Four inch dust collector hose has gotten better over the years and at some point in your shop you're probably going to need some of it. So in this demo video let's take a look at your options. Sooner or later a shop vac like this is just not going to cut it for overall dust collection in a growing shop. You're going to want to step up to a dedicated dust collector like this. And chances are that time will come when you buy your first jointer or planer which generate a much larger volume of debris than a shop vac can handle. Consumer dust collectors like this require a 4 inch diameter hose. It moves a large volume of air at relatively low pressure and you can buy long lengths of the hose at a reasonable cost. When I got into woodworking seriously about 30 years ago, dust collector hose was pretty lousy compared to what it is today. Here's a piece of it I still have in the shop. It didn't compress very well or really roll up on itself. So it took a lot of room to store and it felt like it was always underfoot which made it a tripping hazard. And it was also black, so if it ever clogged up, which they sometimes do, I could only guess where the clog was. I couldn't actually see the problem unless I disconnected the hose. Well, thankfully, dust collector hoses have improved, and Rockler has four types of four inch dust collection hose, all within its dust right family of dust collection products. They're heads and shoulders better than this. So let's take a closer look at what those are. The first and least expensive option is this Dustright Clear Dust Hose. Rockler sells this hose in one foot lengths, which could be handy if you need to connect a tool to ductwork that's close by but too close for a lot of extra hose. Or you can buy it in 10 foot lengths. This hose expands and contracts reasonably well and it rolls up on itself. And these ribs are reinforced with thick wire so it's not going to collapse under suction. But the best feature of this hose for me is that you can see through it. And that makes it a great choice for connecting your jointer or planer to your dust collector. If the hose should happen to clog, you'll be able to see right where the problem is happening without disconnecting it. And if you're thinking of adding a dust collection feature to your lathe, this transparent hose is a good way to go because nothing generates thick, clog-forming shavings faster than a lathe turning green wood. Rockler's second dust right solution is this blue expandable hose and its benefit will be obvious. Options for this hose extend from 2 to 14 feet, 3 to 21 feet, or 4 to 28 feet. So you can stretch the hose to wherever you need it. And when you're done, this hose contracts so it doesn't take up a lot of floor space. And if you're using PVC pipe as your shop ducting, keep this third dust right hose option in mind. It's not as flexible as the other two options, but it's made of an anti-static material that can help reduce the chances of painful static shocks that can happen with PVC installations. And finally, here's a handy dust right solution if you have to work around corners and obstructions in your shop, like lally columns and posts or even furnace ducting. This dust right flex form hose expands from 12 to 36 inches, and it conforms to corners while holding its shape. So there you have it. Four four inch dust hose options to help you keep dust and debris at bay. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Rockler has dozens and dozens of dust right adapters, fittings, and accessories to help you attach your dust collection hose to virtually any dust collection configuration you can imagine. And it's all available at rockler.com or a Rockler store near you. Good luck with building your dust collection system, starting with the right hose. I'm Chris Marshall with Rockler and Woodworkers Journal Magazine, and thanks for watching.